construction unit and the practice of this is to create an image of you where you're sitting but it looks like you're floating there would have been a chair here see like this and then you have to remove the chair so to do this you take two pictures ideally you're using a tripod but if you're using your cell phone just keep in the same spot so you need a blank picture of the setting and then the picture where you come in if you have a jacket or something let it drape over and help disguise the chair the main thing is you don't want to look like you're standing or sitting on something that's why like his feet out in front here really disguise the chair so to edit this take the moving tool um, and you can simply move it over and let go and hopefully it lines up I like one kind of nice tool with this these little eyeballs show like different layers so I'm just gonna have her turned on for a second this is Emma and with the eraser go up to your choices and select um, well shoot where are my regular erasers I mean, they don't even exist here there select a fuzzy that fuzzy or find a regular circle but move the hardness all the way this way and then when you come over this way just make your brush really large and I would work on erasing the outside areas don't get too close to your subject because you will erase part of them so when I turn this back on I can see parts that aren't lining up so I can use the moving tool now and try to line up I'm looking specifically right here if you guys want to look too or that wording it doesn't have to be perfect like something like that's not lining up that's where I go back in with the eraser and if it's just something I can't quite get right I'm going to erase that so it doesn't show up and then I definitely need to lift that And even this is why a tripod comes in handy. I can see where my line's just not not accurate. That's pretty good for important stuff. And I'm going to erase all this where it's just not quite right. And I can turn this off. All that gray, that'll help disguise it. So anything that's not in the gray, I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of that edge. And I want to erase this chair. So there's a couple ways, and there's not really a wrong unless it's just not working for you. So you get rid of that chair right there. I need to zoom way in. And if you're comfortable with the eraser, and you can make it really tiny and I mean this has to be very very detailed you can literally just erase but see how I'm not quite perfect and I'm erasing a little bit of her so this is an option and if you click once and hold down the shift key it'll erase in a straight line for you and then kind of fuzz that out sometimes you'll get issues with this um, not lining up color wise Make my brush a little bigger so we'll see what this looks like using the eraser and then I'll show you the pen tool again because sometimes for different spots um, one works really nicely control minus allows you to zoom out and I can turn this back on so that looks really good except for the coloring and the lighting in my room and probably everywhere in the school is like fluorescent bulbs so there's no way you're ever going to get a picture that matches it it's blinking so fast or I can't see it if you go to make sure you're on this layer the image with you in it image adjustments brightness contrast usually you can get that to kind of fix up pretty nicely right there that looks really good to me I can I can still see a little bit of lime color in there but it's not bad and then I can go to that background if I wanted to and do image adjustments and maybe I take away or I brighten that up even a little bit more if you take your time you can really almost get that perfect and if it's really bothering you just extend it out so don't do that you could erase some more of it um, notice I was on the background and that's why I erased the background so if that happens, just make sure you have the layer you want selected. 
So now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the pen tool down here and see how that works for me. I want to get rid of, oh, I already messed up. When you go to the pen tool and it is resetting even though I'm logged in, make sure you put it on path and fill type none and none. So I can come down here and make my mark. I'm going to go ahead because this might show too much. I'm going to go right to that crease there and then go along her leg. When you have a round area, you want to try to add a few more anchors. And then I'm going to let this shirt kind of hang down a little bit. Same thing, I'm going to go to about right here. And then I can click out this way. This is going to show. I know it's going to show a little bit. Click out here. My goal is to delete this. So I've just kind of made my path area. Go to Make Selection. Hit OK. And then we can still do that fuzz with this. If you go to select, modify, feather. I'm going to put a two in here. Hit OK. And go to the background and hit delete. And then control D is deselect or select, deselect. And if it made a shapes layer, honestly, sometimes in Photopea it does, sometimes it doesn't. You can just throw that away. There's not a rhyme or reason there. Um, so now I need to go back in with my eraser and just kind of clean up and help the, these sharper edges kind of blend. And the further you get from the body, make your eraser bigger because that will give you a bigger fuzz, kind of. See how that went into her? I'm going to back up and that looks pretty good. So there's Emma floating. I would, you could take some time to really kind of get in closer here. Again, altering that color a little bit more, but it's kind of nice with this being concrete. It's not that noticeable. So I'm not going to worry about it for this demo. The last thing you need to do, and I'll do a separate demo on this, this is a separate video, is add a shadow. Um, my recipe for a shadow is you make a new layer, so blank layer. We haven't used this yet, but the lasso is wonderful. It's a free form, so I can just draw you kind of want to do a reverse. So here's her knees. There's an arm coming out this way. This does, it usually makes sense no matter what you do, so don't overthink it too much. But this is like a reverse of her body there. And then you paint bucket that in black. The paint bucket, um, I did that kind of quick, so hang on. Is always, it's under the gradient. So you want the paint bucket. Paint that black. Make sure you're on that blank layer. You'll mess this up really bad if you're on one of these other layers. And then deselect it. Control D. Um, I know that does not look good yet. Opacity right here will change how see-through your layer is. Usually somewhere 30 to 50. This starts to become your opinion of what looks good. And you can always go back and mess with that in a minute more. Um, in Photo P, this tends to lag here, so I would actually do a file save. Actually, before you do your shadow, do a file save as PSD, just to make sure you don't lose work. Um, I have noticed some glitches with that. Filter, um, blur, Gaussian. And this is, again, what just looks good to you. So that, you want it blurred edges. I'm going to hit OK. And then I can go back over here again to that opacity and decide how much I want the shadow being seen. So that looks pretty good to me. And there's my shadow. Um, then you would save this, export as a JPEG, and turn that into Google Classroom. There's your floating. Um, you want to make sure your pose looks like you're floating. You don't want to have um, your flat feet. Again, any the less flat areas you can have that looks like once you remove a chair, there was a chair there, obviously. Um, let me show you a couple of those. This one was obvious he was up on something there. That one did not work very well. This one, obvious she was laying on something. This would have been a good one where she had a shirt. She could have let it dangle down. Um, the more, don't laugh at these, um, you can act like in your face you're acting, the better. Uh, that was one of my bad, I had a big cart trying to get up kind of high. I have a ladder here and I have a little step ladder that's really good for this. But for today, for the practice one, the very first, 
chair and I would say throw your legs in front or almost do like a little namaste, like your meditating kind of pose. Um, and that's it for the practice one.